Today is the day that Black Betty is uh, probably getting sold. I was contacted by a user on YouTube and uh, he was interested in purchasing my beloved bus. So the new owner is checking Black Betty out. And his friend's going to take her on a test drive and uh, see how she goes. Bye, Betty. I'll see you. I'm selling it because I got this stage trailer right here. And uh, we're going to use it to travel with the band. And uh, it pulls better with my uh, Chevy truck, you see right there and the reason is that the Chevy truck has got uh, assisted braking it's got that electronic braking I could install it on the bus and I probably should uh, not <clears throat> so I'm gonna sell Black Betty um, 2,500 bucks now I'm gonna, what I thought I'd use this for as a, a chance to tell you guys what to look for when you go to buy your own bus uh, Black Betty is a great example of what you want uh, never had any problems with, with with this bus you want to look for the body make sure there's no rust uh, take a magnet and go around the bottoms of it and see if it sticks if it doesn't stick it's likely Bondo around the bottom there's a lot of rust problems so look underneath it really well um, title make sure the title is in the person's name who you're buying the bus from because if it's not you're gonna have a really trouble titling this bus um, Make sure it starts, of course. <laughs> drive it uh, as you're driving down the road. The steering wheel, you want to see if there's any play in the steering wheel. Like when you turn it, where does it, how far do you have to move your hand before it starts turning the, the wheels? And that's that could be an indicated problem in the gearbox. Um, braking, uh, you want a short bus. Now, I want to say, unless you have a CDL or you're an experienced driver, and if you are, you won't be watching this video anyway, more than likely, but if you are, but if you're not an experienced driver, uh, you want a short bus or something based on one of the vans. Uh, that way, you don't have to worry about air brakes. Uh, air brakes is going to make you have some problems with insurance, going to have some problems with CDLs. It's going to give you some, some issues. No air brakes. You don't want that. Um, so when it's running, a diesel bus will n normally have a little bit of a clacking sound, and that's okay. You hear that sound right there. You hear this. That's normal. A little bit of clack nature. It's not like clack -a -lack -a -lack -a -lack -a -lack. <laughs> You know, but there's a normal amount of, of a little bit of a, a clack in there. It's okay. It's a diesel. Now if it's a gasoline engine bus, that's not okay. That's not normal. Alright, so we're inside the bus. So here's what's gonna happen when you start your bus up hopefully <laughs> so point you at the dash when I first put the key in I turn it halfway you see the glow plug light light up now the, the water and gas light goes away really fast and the glow plug light sits there and now it's off now the bus starts right up hope you can see that and that's what's supposed to happen if it doesn't happen it could be a little bit of a problem it could just be a dead battery and once the battery gets a little bit too low it doesn't want to start like that. So, much the battery's been charged. Let's get under the hood. Let's get under the hood latch. Okay. Now, everybody knows to check the oil. Of course, you're going to check the oil. Hood latch here. Ah. Of course, we're going to check the oil. Uh, we're going to check all the fluid, though. We're going to check our transmission fluid, check our oil. Now, I hope you can hear me. If you can see these, these hoses here and these look like some plumbing fixtures somebody's put on, because basically they are. What that does is it sends the radiator fluid back to the heater in the back of the bus. In the wintertime, you want those open, and in the summertime, you want those closed. Uh, those were added 
by the, the people who converted this van into a bus. And it's, I don't know, Grumman, Carpenter, whatever yours is gonna be. I think this is Carpenter. Uh, yeah, this one's a Carpenter bus. So they had those. Uh, your brake cylinder, you wanna open that up. Mine's running right now, I really don't wanna open it. But you wanna open that up, make sure uh, that everything's full or cool in there before you even test drive it. You wanna crawl underneath your bus and you want to look and see are there any leaks on the concrete see how that concrete was nice and clean for this bus is set for a few days there's no leaks there's no fuel fuel or, or coolant or uh, there's no uh, oil leaks there's nothing like that so you want to make sure that there's no leaks of, of, of anything. If there is, you want to find out what they are and see if it's just a hose or if it's actually some kind of cracked manifold or some type of serious situation and if it is, have a, a, a mechanic look at it. Now those are just, these are pretty common sense things buying any diesel, but if you're buying a short bus and, and you're looking about how to buy a short bus or what to look for when you buy a short bus, hopefully you found this video, so hopefully it was helpful. And, you can help me bid farewell to Black Betty. She's been a good one. <laughs> I got really lucky. Oh, don't lock him up, Betty. <laughs>